Success above the skies for China, it launched a key component of a planned space station. As Ning Hong reports, it's the first of many more to come as construction gets underway in space. It's a major breakthrough. With the Tianhe, Chinese for Heaven Harmony core module brought into Earth orbit, China's space exploration has entered a new era. I'm very proud to be part of the Tianhe mission. This is a great success for China. The Tianhe core module is able to support three astronauts for three to six months. Upcoming missions to the module will include a cargo ship bearing supplies and a Shenzhou manned spacecraft, which will bring three astronauts up in June this year. By the end of next year, in-orbit construction will be completed and the space station will begin operations. The designed life of the station in orbit is at least 10 years, but with regular maintenance carried out by astronauts and with regular replacements of equipment, the station's life can be extended for some time. China is planning to complete the construction of its space station called the Tiangong or Heaven Palace with 11 intensive launches in 20 months. This will involve another two lab modules and four manned missions. The successful launch of the core module of China's space station marks the beginning of the construction of China's space station. It also opens a new era as Chinese astronauts will be routinely going into space. Ning Hong, CGTN, Wenchang. Strained tensions between Beijing and Washington have made collaborating on space exploration nearly impossible. One former NASA astronaut says that could slow China's space race, as John Zarello reports. Leroy Chow knows more than a little about flying in space. It's a whole lot different than keeping your feet planted firmly on the ground. Uh, just the weightless environment, you know, the, you immediately feel full-headed when you get up into space because there's no longer gravity pulling fluid down into your lower extremities. As a NASA astronaut, Chow flew three space shuttle missions. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour in pursuit of a Japanese satellite. He spent 36 hours walking in space. Endeavour Houston for EV. Leroy, we see you coming out. Ah, oh, Dan, look at the look at the Earth there. Take a look over the sill if you can. Oh my goodness. From 2004 to 2005, he commanded the International Space Station for six months. There was continual maintenance and upgrades. Chinese astronauts visiting their new station will deal with it too. Chow was concerned that because China has not launched a mission with astronauts since 2016, the learning curve could be steep. So their capabilities, operational capabilities, are, are not nearly as developed as ours and uh, they've got a long ways to go and by not flying for so many years they're not moving the ball forward for themselves so they're going to have a big challenge once they do get their space station elements up of ramping up quickly to be able to support those kinds of operations when they haven't exercised their teams in so long. Exercising the body will be critical too. Every astronaut who ever flew a long duration mission has done it. Why? Space is not kind to the human body. Strange, sometimes debilitating maladies can occur. Over 70% of astronauts that fly these long duration flights have come back with some changes to their eyes. Some of them have come back with permanent eye damage and it's really not well understood. We actually do ultrasounds of our eyeballs and that's in order to see how our eyeballs are changing, what's going on with the optic nerves. If Chinese astronauts develop this, there might be some backdoor note sharing between NASA and Chinese doctors, but not much else. The chilly relationship between the two nations has left space cooperation in tatters. A huge disappointment, says Chow. And unfortunately, when I left NASA at the end of 2005, I thought that in 10 years, certainly things were gonna be better and, and they're actually worse, they're actually much worse. For now, both countries are going their separate ways, but it's not a space race. The U.S. program remains, says Chow, far more advanced, and China has a lot of catching up to do. For CGTN, I'm John Zarella, Cape Canaveral, Florida.